Hi guys, welcome sa bagong episode ng AJ Blade Reviews. So today, we have a new package from Bohol. This is from Sir Dom of Bohol Native. Uh, it is their rendition of the uh, famous Garab. So, let's open our package. So here we go guys. Ayan na siya. Uh, I saved you the time ng pagbubukas, no? Hindi ko na pinakita. And... So, what I can say about the packaging is it's very well wrapped. Uh, as you can see, ito yung binalot sa dito sa may dulo ng scabbard. Meron siyang ganito, may box pa. And meron pa siya dito yung foam sa dulo. Then, ito meron dito na foam ulit. Nakashoot yan dyan. Tapos may plastic pa yan. Tapos may foam ulit. Ah, may bubble wrap. So, Ayan na siya guys. So, nga pala, uh, another piece na lagi kong sinasabi din when I receive a package from Sir Dom. Uh, ito yung, uh, this is a PNP permit to transport, no? Uh, dahil nga medyo mahigpit around Visayas area with regards to blades. So, they include this permit uh, to prove that this blade was not used on a crime no so yun po yung purpose nya so uh, this uh, PNP permit can also be used to give provenance no someday sa blade na ito so malalaman natin kung saan siya galing sino nagmamayari uh, anong year siya so mahalagang maitabi nyo yan guys if you have uh, been given a uh, PNP permit so it can help help uh, some people <laughs> someday no yung mga collectors natin na uh, in the future it can help them recognize the blade so let's talk about the garab no
So there we go guys. Uh, Tigarab has been a topic of debate for some time now, no? Uh, in the recent years, uh, yung mga Visayan blades natin has been getting the spotlight because the Moro blades have been too mainstream, I guess. Uh, not only dito lang sa Pilipinas, no? I'm talking about worldwide. Uh, we have a lot of collectors na nagahangad magkaroon ng Filipino traditional blades. So, I guess the boom of the Visayan blade culture affected, no? Lalo na yung prices kasi uh, an old garab would go from the minimum of $600, no? Hanggang $1,000. So, that's a lot of money. If you convert that to Philippine peso, that would be 30,000 pesos to 50,000 pesos, di ba? So, magkano yun? Uh, we can't afford such pieces, no? So, good thing then na uh, Serbo Hall Native uh, did the reproductions, no? Of the garab. Pero ano nga ba yung garab, guys? Kasi, uh, we don't really know the uh, origin ng garab, no? Kasi even if you Google, kahit isearch mo siya sa Google, wala kang makukuha ang masyadong details. So, there are pages na hindi naman that credible and you can't say na talagang that's the history of the garab kasi wala naman sila dito sa Pilipinas. So, the best way to know what the garab is, is through the locals. So, the problem is, guys, when you tell the locals the, uh, kung ano ba yung garab, tanongin mo yung locals sa, sa late, sa summer. By the way, guys, uh, the garab is known to be uh, the all this, uh, known to be used by the warais sa laysam. So, late, summer area. So, uh, dyan po galing ang ang garab. So, the question is ano nga yung garab? Kasi guys, pag pinakita nyo yung garab sa locals, ay pag tinanong nyo kung ano ang garab sa locals, ang sasabihin nila, ang garab ay sickle. O ito yung panabas. Uh, mukha siyang, ito, ito. Mukha siyang sanggot. Ito, may sanggot tayo dito. Eh. From, this is from Late Blades kay Sir Jake. So, mukha siyang sanggot pero mas payat. So, sabi nila ginagamit daw sa pag-harvest ng rice, no? Unlike the sanggot na ginagamit sa pag-harvest ng tuba. So, how did it happen na we have garabs in the international market and it looks like a sundang? And there is this particular look about the garabs, no? Kasi sundang generally is a term na ginagamit for a bolo. So, a bolo is a bladed tool that can be used as a weapon or is as a utility uh, blade. So, how come nagarab ang tawag dito? So, I'm going to show you guys some examples ng old garabs. Uh, this one is from Sir Job Abat. This particular piece is a World War II, no? Uh, take home po ito ng isang US infantryman uh, and happened to be napauwi ni Sir Job dito sa Pinas. So, I think uh, ang mapapansin natin sa blade na ito ay yung spine. Check out the spine, guys. How can you compare it to regular sundangs. It's thicker, right? And speaking of thicker, I have here another example. So, this example is from a museum. Uh, so, ilagay ko na lang dito sa baba kung anong, tawag, kung anong museum yan kasi nalimutan ko. So, it's from a museum. Uh, so, pwede naman gamitin yung pictures nila according to their site. So, i-ano lang natin. I- 
ire-reference lang natin yung ano nila, yung page. So uh, this particular garab is way thicker. Uh, this is pre-World War II pa, guys. So uh, we have here another example. This is from Sir Ray. These are uh, pre-World War II garabs. Yan. So look how thick that is. So later on panipis siya na panipis no. Actually guys, this particular piece is very heavy. It has a thick spine. Ang kapal niya, ang bigat. Uh, it's a very heavy chopper. So I have here my sundang also from Sir Bohol, native. Kunin ko lang. So here we go guys. Ito yung regular sundang from Sir Bohol native. So uh, comparing the profile, you have there a uh, belly closer to the handle. Matian, matian siya. Unlike this. So dito medyo makapal pa. Dito mapapanipis na. So that's one thing I noticed and looking at the spine Mas manipis siya guys. Kalang. So comparing the thickness, this regular sundang is way way lighter than our ball native garab. So that's one point. But how you can tell a garab from a regular sundang then another one is the scabbard guys what I have noticed with the uh, old with the old pieces of garab is the itong dulo ng scabbard so guys uh, I forgot which blade brother told me this pero I think uh, I really forgot so ang, ang naalala ko pagkakasabi ni blade brother na to this design was forgotten because nagsasasalabit siya sa damo sa gubat so that was removed that design hindi na nagpinapagawa yon dahil nga sa gabal that's why we have smoother and sa scabbards nowadays ito mga regular sundangs natin then uh, what you have noticed is lagi ding may carvings dito yung part na yan so this one regular sundang wala and this one, I noticed this too, yung lalagyan ng tali, usually ornated din, no? So, that's what I noticed. So, we have here another piece from Visayas. Uh, this is from Pikit ni Litoy. This is from Panday, uh, from an artisan, Lito Arda. The Pinuti, Lawi-Lawi. So, I'll, I'll just take it out, saglit lang. So here we go guys, side by side, uh, a regular sundang from Bohol Native, a lawi-lawi profile Pinuti from Cebu, from Lito Arda, then the Garab. So let's compare the Garab and the Pinuti. So the Pinuti has a lawi-lawi profile. So Ayan, compare lang natin. Then, the scabbard is somehow kamukha, no? Nang garab. It has this ukit dito sa may throat ng scabbard. Then, itong pinakang slot ng tali niya is ornated too. 
And like what I said, modern pieces ng sundangs have no more ornation. Dahil nga sa gabal, ayaw ng mga ayaw ng mga farmers na may sagabal sa paglalakad magsasalabit sa labit sa mga halaman so that design got extinct then let's go with the hill no we have here uh, Lito Arda steak on the Minandawe so I'm going to show you guys another examples of Minandawe hilts uh, courtesy of Sir Don Don Bimpas so thank you Sir Don Don for letting us use your photos uh, as you can see the Minandawe and the old pieces somehow resembles the shape no? actually kung Minsan nga, pag makakakita ko ng mga gantong pieces, pag sinabi sa akin, garab to, maniniwala ako eh. So, the Minandawe was like that. So, according to Sir Randy nga, the uh, Visayan pieces are very, very masakit sa ulo. So, uh, it's like the headache club, sabi ni Sir Randy. So, I'm. Uh, it's a very curious piece, diba, guys? Pero, what is common about them is they are all from Visayas, no? They are all called, called Sundangs. So, that's the safest thing that I can say. Na, definitely, this is a Sundang. <laughs> no? Uh, it's like. Sarizal. Itak. Lahat yan itak. Iba-iba lang profile. May binakoko, may dahong palay, may, may tinari, may sinampalok. So, pero itak pa rin lahat yan. It's like that, no? Uh, these pieces are still best called sundang. Pero for the sake of... Uh, for the sake of ano, uh, yung mag-isip man lang tayo. San ba nang galing ang garab? No? Kasi yun nga, the locals of Visayas no garab as a sickle. Hindi siya sundang. So, who coined the term garab? Was it the Americans? Was it the Spaniards? So, that's the question I'm going to leave you guys. No? Uh, uh, I respect the people uh, in our blade community uh, who have their takes on the garab, no? So, that's why I presented it that way, this way, no? Uh, Open-ended. Kasi, I can't really say what the garab, where the garab came from, uh, what the garab is uh, representing, no? Pero, we're just very lucky now, there are now reproductions na affordable. So, like, sa katulad ko na hindi naman ganong kayaman, it's very affordable, no? So, problema ko lang guys, umuulan. Umuulan sa labas eh. Also, pumutok yung vulkan ng Taal. So, minor lang naman. So, sana maging safe po yung mga tropa natin dyan sa Batangas. So, yun medyo maulan lang, kaya hindi natin matest yung blade. Uh, I, I want to do a blade, uh, bottle cutting, no? Pero dahil nga maulan, I can't do that muna. Maybe tomorrow.
So that's my take on the garab, no? Kasi it's still a debate. It's a running debate where the garab came from. Ba't siya naging garab? Ba't garab ang tawag? Ba't hindi sundang? So, uh, also nga pala guys, I also forgot uh, most garabs have this weird orientation ng ano, ng handle. Uh, very, ano siya, very liad. So, si Sir Bohol medyo minodify niya eh. So, hindi siya yung yung nakatongo na ganun. So, that's an interesting ano eh, feature of the garab. So, para siyang Uh, imbis na papaganyan yung blade medyo nakaganyan siya nakatungo parang pistol grip so interesting siya kasi kung paano mo siya i-apply sa fights uh, is it for thrusting only is can it be used for slashing so those are some of the questions I can leave you guys uh, bago natin i-end tong vlog na to So, big thanks po sa mga Blade Brothers natin for their input regarding the Garab. Uh, also, thank you kay Sir Dom of Bohol Native. Para, kasi ano talaga eh, parang pinilit ko na lang siya eh na igawa ako ng Garab. Kasi talagang medyo sensitive pa nung mga panahon na lumabas to. So, big thanks to Sir Dom for letting us have uh, an example of a Garab. So this piece will, will go here. I using ko lang to. Uh, we uh, we have now an addition to the Visayan pieces, no? So, ayan. Thank you for watching, guys. See you on my next episode. And as always, please share, like, subscribe. Uh, big help yun sa vlog. Also, guys, meron nga pala tayong ano uh, products sa Shopee. Uh, if you want to support our vlog So pandagdag Makabili tayo bagong blades Meron tayong uh, Chili Chili ano Chili garlic I'll put that on Shopee And we also have uh, Coffee from our farm uh, Both are from our farm Itong chilies at saka yung Coffee ito nasa gilid uh, I-ano ko na lang i ko na lang sa description yung Shopee, no? Uh, so, thank you for watching, guys. Bye!